What is up, fellow champions of Azeroth? This is the Chig coming at you with another World of Warcraft Season of Discovery video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a couple of different leveling routes, uh, one for each faction. And then later on, I'm going to be coming out with more um, detailed, specific leveling guides per class. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell sub notification icon so you get notified every time I come out with a new video. Um, also, I've been asked to start a Patreon, so if you're interested in that, please sound off in the comments. But let's hop right into it, shall we? All right. So, I'm going to start off with Alliance over here. First things first. You're going to do your opening area into level 10. That's just going to be how it goes every time, right? Um, follow the Wowhead classic stuff. Um, don't forget, don't follow this too closely because we are in Season of Discovery. There are going to be things to find. So do Elwyn Forest if you're a human. Don't forget to do a couple of these quests, right? Um, do the Hogger quest because this is going to get you a really decent piece of gear. Um, there's something for everybody here. Um, you're going to be able to get a chest, you're going to be able to get a pair of pants, or you're going to be able to get a staff. Um, the staff's going to be good for basically anybody that can dual wield, male wearers, those uh, pants are good, and then anybody basically except cloth wearers are going to benefit from the footman's tunic. Um, Dun Moreau, you're going to do that. There's a couple of weapons you can get, a couple pieces of gear, Teldrassil. You're going to be basically doing most of the quests anyway, so you're going to be grabbing these anyhow. So after that, um, Westfall. Westfall is huge because you are going to be able to not only get a couple of good items while you're down here, but this is going to set you up to be able to do the quests for um, Deadmines, right? Deadmines is going to be important for us getting some of the pre-raid bis. It's going to be important for us getting some useful items moving forward. So make sure if you are Alliance, you're at least somewhat doing some things in Westfall. So you can be picking up those quests. Lock Modan. This is what you're going to be doing if you are on the other side and you're not starting as a human. Um, I would recommend hopping on the tram, going to Westfall. You can do some quests in Lock Modan if you want, but hop on the tram, go to Westfall. It's going to be my two pennies. Uh, Dark Shore. Doing some quests in Dark Shore, there's a couple of things you can get. You can get a ring early. That's pretty uh, pretty good to know. There's some good daggers. If you are a dagger enjoyer as myself, there's a decent one-handed sword. Um, take into consideration the fragments within. This sword is one-handed, not main hand only. So if you're dual wielding as a rogue once you hit level 10, that's a good one. A um, couple other good pieces of gear. Just keep your eyes out when you're questing for gear. It's not really that big of a deal. And then... Red Ridge Mountains, 15 to 25, right? Um, going over to Red Ridge, this is going to be really good. You've got a really high number of quests over here. Um, this is going to be the first spot where Horde are going to be able to gank you for the most part. Um, but Horde's not going to be in Red Ridge, let's be real. When does Horde ever go to Red Ridge Mountains? Um, it's fine, right? So, come over there, do a couple quests. Um basically what you're trying to do is get to here so once you're level 19 level 20 you're just going to go to ashen vale and then you're going to start questing um i do believe with the way the runes are going to work we're going to be able to do a lot of dungeon grinding um a lot of dungeon leveling um i do believe we're going to be able to hit lockouts i do believe we're going to be able to just literally roll through content so i would not be worrying too much about that um there are going to be some quests to do in Stone Talons um, that are going to come in handy. There's going to be uh, some quests to do in the Wetlands that are going to come in handy. So once you get down past here, basically don't go past any of these zones as far as leveling goes, right? Wetlands, Stone Talon Mountains, or Ashenville, right? But there are going to be some quests in these other zones such as Duskwood, Hillsbrad, they're going to give you some really, really, really good items. So use your 60 planner, see which ones of these you probably need to do. Um, the thing is, once you get down here, you're going to be getting these items that are really low level to get. You're going to need friends to help you do the quests, but the items you're going to get from them are going to be incredible. So that's about it for the uh, Alliance side. I will link these in the description of the video so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so let's look at Horde stuff. So 
here's where you're at for the horde duratar do same thing um do your opening quests uh do everything that you can so i would recommend with duratar specifically um it doesn't matter who you're starting with um coming to duratar is not going to be a bad idea um make sure that you come over here and start the um, enemies within quest line with thrall do that do the skull rock quest do all that because you're going to be able to get some extra quests for rage fires chasm um, make sure if you are a tauren go get the quest for rage fire from thunder bluff for your party if you are undead go get the quest from undercity for your party if you're starting on one of the other areas make sure you're picking up those quests so when you're putting your uh, your party together it's going to be a little easier for everybody to share them, pick them all up. The only one that's not shareable is the quest line that starts with Thrall. So after you get them, go to Duratar, do that quest line, and then go start questing in the Barrens until you're high enough level to actually do the dungeon. So after that, um, if you are undead, you're going to be in Tyrus Fall Glades, super easy questing over there. Everybody knows that. Mulgor, super easy questing over there for you Torn, torn Bros and Brodets. Um, and then you're going to go to the Barrens. Um, Barrens and Silver Pine Forest are both incredible. There's no reason not to go to either of them. I would recommend going to Silver Pine early as a horde. Um, so because we're going to need things from SFK and from Wailing Caverns. So I would recommend if you're a caster, you're trying to live in SFK. If you're anything other than a caster, you're going to be trying to live in Wailing Caverns because there's going to be a lot of items we're going to be able to get from those that are going to help us in the long run. Um, there's some decent, um, quest items through here, you know, good ring, cauldron stirs, a good two hander, um, welding shields, not bad. Samoflange, like the Samoflange quest is going to help you out, get you a little bit of a bonk since you can get the welding shield from a quest. Um, obviously I'm not going to read all over all of this for you because this is all going to be available to you. Um, so then our first move as horde is stone talent. There's a couple of quests over here we can do that are really quick. Um, we start getting quests as soon as we come into the zone as Horde. So you can start rolling through here as soon as you're 15, 16. Um, and you won't have to bounce back and forth as much. When you're rolling down in the Silver Pine, the, the quest progression in Silver Pine is really good. Um, there's some really good grinding over here on the island. So this is not going to be bad for you undead enjoyers. Um, it's just going to be a good spot to be in general. And then 20 to 30, you've got some more quests that are a little higher level down here in Camp T. You've got some higher level quests over in Ratchet to go down into the Theramore area down there. Um, we've got the Raptors down here in the Raptor Grounds. Um, I personally do a lot of grinding, so I'm going to be running around in a lot of these places, and you will see me out doing those things. Um, you're going to be doing Wailing Caverns. Wailing Caverns is going to be awesome. Um, Razor Fin Crawl, you're probably going to wind up doing this once because there's an escort quest in there that you can get a really, really, really good ring from. I recommend everybody doing that. I'll make a, get, a guide about that at some point. And then you start to get into the level 20 to 30 areas. Ashenvale. Obviously, you don't want to come here immediately if you don't have to, but once you get up here, uh, start questing. We're going to do War Song Supplies. These um, are awesome. Um, if you're a caster, this belt's amazing. If you are anybody that uses leather, eight agility, six stam boots, amazing. And then the gloves, 10 strength, three stam. Come on, that's really good too. So you can't go wrong doing that quest. Um, you come in, there's a lot more quest items down through here. Um, if you click on these quests, it's gonna show you what you gotta do before, prerequisites and all that. Hillsbrad, we're gonna wanna go to Hillsbrad because there's gonna be a lot of things over there we're gonna need. There's a pair of boots you need, there's a ring you need, there's um a weapon you need if you want to use a two-hander so you're going to want to go to hillsbrad um this is going to be one of those places where aside from the first couple of quests you're going to want um some friends with you helping you out there uh down here we go back to stone talon there's some more stuff you can do that's a little higher level you're going to be getting some more items that are going to help you out um when you're getting your gear together um you can go look at one of my guides or one of someone else's guides we kind of tell you how to itemize so um kind of know what to look for when you're picking your quest items and then thousand needles 1k needles is going to be absolutely amazing for horde melee characters one of the best one handers you can get at level 25 comes from a quest chain that you can start at level 25 and end at level 25 
It's an item level 40 main hand, and it is absolutely incredible. So get some friends, go to 1K Needles, knock out some of those quests, and just get ready to be very, very strong in your um, endeavors with uh, DPS. And if you are a PvP enjoyer, enjoy having a strong bonk stick to get you started. Anyway, um, that's kind of taking us up through level 25 and some of the zones to go to to get some of your quests. I will be bringing out some more individualized uh, like progression guides for each class. So use these talents. If you like this level, use these talents, use these weapons. Um, as far as that goes, typically you're just going to pick up item upgrades along the way. The only way it really matters most of the time is when your uh, class re relies on your weapon damage. And at that point, we'll talk about that in those individual videos. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in Azeroth in just a couple of days. Hype is getting real. We are four days out, and this is incredible. Um, anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Looking forward to it.